he roosted and lost flying. What a dummy. I mean, that's good against Pichu. That's like, there's no downsides there. It was the fuck ass for me. Um, oh yeah, Nature's. Nature change. Free of charge. I'm assuming I want Adamant or a speed boost, right? Adamant, he's already modest. He's already adamant, I think. For Cub Fu, I go Jolly, yeah. Um, Aurorist. Is this really... I'm gonna give Aurorist a neutral one. I don't remember if Rick has a good one or not. Let me look. Lax nature is increased defense, lowered special defense. I'm okay with that for now. I'll probably change it up later. Uh, Pichu has buff special attack. It'll come in handy. Tyron's perfect. Aurorus is fine. Increased speed? Lowered defense? Um, Probably want a neutral nature for him, too. Honestly, for Rick. I feel a little better. All right, Brock should be a breeze. Who's the one that has the ability where they're immune to rock type moves? Do Toxic Debris and Cub Fu. Yeah, so this might be a Cub Fu Tyrant thing. Also, can you change abilities there too? I don't think so, but I wouldn't be shocked if you could. Also, I can always go into Rick and clean up. Champion making seems your first gym challenge. I'm responsible for informing you of the rules. Accuracy reducing moves and evasion raising effects have been removed from the video game. Taun pass is removed from the video game. Sleep clause is in effect, meaning only one Pokemon per team can be put to sleep at a time. Oko moves are removed from the video game. The bag is inaccessible during boss battles. There is a soft level cap before each boss, which reduces EXP gain significantly when the level cap is reached. Pokemon will disobey when level too far above the cap. Consumable held items come back after trainer battles. Battle style is forced to set, which I think I've already been on, but you cannot thief items from trainers. You are automatically healed to full in most boss battles to prevent certain exploits. If you ever want me to reiterate the rules, just ask me again. Good luck, Challenger. You guys are absolutely going to have to remind me I can heal up whenever I want to, because that is something I will forget a lot. All right. Try getting kicked in the face. Could have roared that turn. Well, 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 if it isn't yet another little bitch who is just immune to my poison! This is such a cool ability, it'd be cool if it worked on any Pokemon in the entire game. Sorry. I'm getting bulldozed, I guess. Oh good, there it is. Okay. Well. Kupu's trying to win aerial ace, the kick-ass move. Yep, and just like that, I healed my guys. Okay. All right, Brock the Cock, what are we thinking here? So, you're here. Why do you say that like you know who I am? I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. My rock hard dick is evident even in. Never mind. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all rock type. You're gonna challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's a trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Show me your best. Look, he said his Pokemon are all rock hard. Don't look at me. Okay, 
That hurts. But I want to get both layers of toxic debris out. So bulldoze me again. We'll live it. There's two layers right out of the gate. Roar him out. What are we cooking with? A flying type who is immune to this kind of thing, actually. God, it would be cool if toxic debris worked once. Luck me, you little prick. All right, Varum is floating in the air with his air balloon and immune to toxic debris. Yeah, I was just testing it, Louie. And he also said most times. A Pokemon that gets hurt by toxic debris, let's fucking go! He won't feel it because he's... Oh, wait, he lived. He lived and then restored with berry juice and then got hurt by toxic fucking debris. I should swap. And now we toxic stall, which is what I was born to do. Why don't I have levitate? Oh, yeah, abilities. Does this kill me? No. Does this kill you? No. Okay, well, if he's going to be like that... I don't have anybody I want to switch into here. Kung Fu's only mean to rock. Yeah, fuck it, we're staying in. Now, will he know what my ability is? And just never use a rock type? Or will the CPUs genuinely have to figure out that it won't work sometimes? Because I have to believe his strongest attack right now is a rock-type attack, which he just decided against. But then again, I outspeed him, so maybe he was doing it as a strategy. Alright, our team is looking pretty good. Fuck-ass received the boulder badge from Brock. Wait, take these with you. Rock Tomb, let's go. I think I already have a couple mon with Rock Tomb, but we vibe. They usually go for the most damage, or if they see a move that will kill. Yeah, I guess what I'm wondering is that, uh... Do you think Brock was aware? I guess it would be common knowledge. If you were a really well-versed trainer, then theoretically you would know in this world that... Cub Chew, whatever the hell this thing's name is, would have been immune to Rock types. And maybe that, maybe that's it. Maybe that's... Nido King, sit. Nido King, raw. Kids nowadays are cracked. Back in my day, you'd be king of the playground if you even had a Nidorino at my son's age. My kids run around with a sheer force Nido King. I was hoping this was going to be a case of the Nido King was too high level to obey the kid, and it was about to punt the kid into the side of the house. But... Your fighting types, you resist rock anyway. Oh, yeah, fuck. Hey, fuck ass. Glad I was able to find you. Normally I'd be here to send a gift from your mother, but it appears she doesn't love you in this game. Anyway, the professor forgot to give you the Dynamax band. It obviously allows you to Dynamax, though it can only be done in raid battles. You can find them by taking on raid dens. Take these as well. Uh, these, force Pokemon, uh, these force Pokemon to respawn at raid dens. Wish pieces. Okay. All right, we go back to the old tried and true strats now that the level cap is no longer with us. And the tried and true stats are spamming Dragon Rage until it stops one-shotting everyone. Away we go. We beat last Janus. Thunder Shad at level 15. I see wind with a little slow that it does. Blast the foe with a uh, snowy gust may cause freezing. 40 power on powdered snow. 55 power on icy wind. We'll do that. I hope I will never be in a spot where I need to rely on a random freeze to win. Chikorita is dead. 
Left lip evolves at level 20, and that's probably when he starts being useful. Yeah, I thought scaling meant that I couldn't get a Dragon Rage Mon early in game. I thought that was like half the point of what scaling would be, but that was not half the point. Stealth Rock? Oh my god, he Stealth Rock Toxic Spikes! Oh my goodness, he's a Stealth Rock Toxic Debris guy! And he knows the roar! Good thing everything in this video game is a flying type. Yeah, that too. But... Alright, realistically, I do not need Tackle and Stomp, so... Trying to learn Dragon Breath. Mmm, a real Dragon type attack. Foe is hit with an incredible blast that may also paralyze. Yeah, we'll do it on Foe's energy, I guess. The Primordial Sea Burmy. The one we were all afraid of from the Tails. Oh yeah, I should just use the Vile. Tyrant! Is dead. Oh wait, we got new Mon here. I didn't even realize. I think our team looks pretty solid. We got a Grookey. They have a Larvitar. Uh, Paldian Wooper. Ditto! Oh my god, I gotta catch Ditto. Night, Steven. Be easy, bud. Might have to pop an Evil Light on that thing. Well, he won't evolve into almost level 40. And by that point, I think I will let him evolve. But... What is this thing? Spritzy? What do you mean you couldn't find Ditto? Just for shits and giggles, I have to see what his ability is. Oh yeah, I was gonna see what Sentra's ability was too. Wind Rider, immune to wind moves and gets a plus one attack instead. Ditto, prevents confusion and intimidate. <laughs> All right, Ditto, well you did your best. Yeah, Toxic Debris, Stealth Rock, Tyrant. Should I give you can switch it? I'm almost positive you can't because that feels broken. But next time I'm at a uh, Pokemon Center, which is up here. Wind moves? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what wind moves means either. Is it, it doesn't say flying type attacks. It says wind moves. So, like, gust? I don't know if wing attack counts. A sizzle pee? <laughs> Poliwag, same Dex Nav. Paldi and Wooper's okay. Not super jazzed about it. Um, I might come back and like catch shit later though. That like if I know I needed to beat a certain battle, because I definitely used to feel like I needed a. Uh... A Fire Ground type Do Duo. And Shup it. Or, excuse me, Phantom. Have entered the mix. A fire ground type do duo. Better take a rest. Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Trying to learn takedown. We can do that over growl. Just for coverage. Thunderstone, nice.
Let's peep inside the, our first raid den. Uh, anybody know the silhouette? Who is that Pokemon? I get a Raichu now. I gotta get the Pikachu first. Capsicid? Oh, the weird little fire grass thing. Yeah. Yeah, that little dude sucks ass. I think I miss battling a trainer back here. I think. Maybe not. Did I battle that kid? Yes. The Pepper Pokemon Prevo. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Okay, and you guys told me I poke my little head inside the, the den, and the second one to show up in the deck snap will be the shiny if I pay that dude a shitload. Whooper? Regular old Whooper? Does it matter that it's nighttime right now? Nope, it's still Whooper. Chikorita in here. Chikorita and Cyndaquil in here. Shout out to Gen 2. I have no idea what I did with my cell phone. You could evolve Cubfu into Water Fighter Urshifu with that Water Stone right now if you wanted. Um, is there a drawback to that? Does Cubfu learn moves Urshifu doesn't? Also, I picked up a Fire Stone. I don't know if I picked up a Water Stone or not. Bullet Seed, big time. Yeah, basically I'm worried if I stone Evo him, he'll stop when it moves. But if I can move relearn whenever. You can move relearn later anyway, you should be okay. Full dick bag! Hisui and Typhlosion. I don't really want Hisui and Typhlosion. It's why I opted for regular Typhlosion in my Scarlet Violet playthrough, but regular Typhlosion also just isn't very good. You could hypothetically get three Evos right now. Bald Evo. Pika Evo. Well, as soon as Pichu becomes Pikachu. Uh... As soon as Pichu becomes Pikachu, I can instantly turn him into Raichu if we get Move Relearner later. I feel like I'm better off waiting for Thunderbolt. They learn all their moves at the same level. If I can have an Urshifu Water already, that is disgusting. Did I even get a Water Stone? I thought I only picked up a Thunderstone. Nope, we fuck, dude. What was his ability before? Oh, immune to rock type moves, which doesn't help him much anyways. Don't have a dog shit ability, don't have a dog shit ability, don't have a dog shit ability. Ba -da 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 -da. Surging strikes. Twenty-five power, one hundred accurate, three consecutive times always results in a critical hit. So seventy-five power crit move. Means I don't need focus energy. Manifesting huge power. Shit! I mean, maybe he learns slash.
Night Slash? Maybe he learns Night Slash? Magic Art for 500. I thought if I had enough, I could get a shiny. Do I want to buy this, or is this just going to be a whooper? Ah, yeah, fuck it. Did I buy another Tyrant? Fuck, dude. Oh, well. Urshifu doesn't learn Night Slash. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, well. I don't think I want to run anything in the wild here. But I do think the bonds change on the floors, don't they? Like, if I go here... Yeah, we got Oddish in the mix now. Quaxley, Totodile's back. Chewdle, it's funny. Is this not a bad ability? It's not a negative ability, but it literally does nothing. Should have used Bite. Whooper! I didn't mean to Dragon Rage twice. Doesn't matter, I have the Vile. Sarathy, how you doing? Thank you for the Prime 79 months. Bet that Water Urshifu learns that water slashing attack that Veluza learns normally. Um, I don't even know what that move is called. Bro, swap to a Larvitar. Just say you're desperate. Bite over Tail Whip. Oh my god, it's trying to annoying me to death. You need Scary Face? Over Endure, maybe? Aqua Cutter? Is that a slash move? Does that count? It should, but does it? It does not learn Aqua Cutter. All right, we might be SOL with that ability, boys. Poke Vile is gross. Aerial Ace, wait, Aerial Ace counts? It'd be sweet if you could change abilities. I don't even need, like, infinite abilities, like, change to any ability I want, because that's busted. But if your Pokemon can have two abilities, like a hidden one, I think ability capsules and shit exist. So maybe if Urshifu has a hidden ability, I can do that later on, but he might not have one, which means it wouldn't do me any good. Excavating for fossils here in a mountain moon. Sometimes Brock lends me a hand. Oh, you beat him? That's admirable. Perhaps you can do something with this. Muscle band. Nice. The Pokemon levels ramp up quick here. I'm glad grinding is so easy, because I did just mash Dragon Rage. Uh, chat, who's that Pokemon? It's a Steel-type. Aqua Cutter would have been cool, yeah. That would have kind of bailed me out a little bit. Granted, I think my other move is still stronger, because it's a guaranteed crit, but... Is it the garbage fucker? It's steel type. Qfin? Is that thing really Qfin? I guess we've never really seen it. They're Gen 2s. Yeah. Okay. I will respectfully keep it moving then. That area is locked off entirely. Good to know. Come to explore the cave? No, bitch. I'm trying to get through this hellhole. 
Ooh, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave! I could be annoying if I wanted to drop Nasty Plot. Doll eyes something until they can't do it anymore. T wave them. Sweet kiss. I'm gonna drop sweet kiss. I'm gonna be a dick. We're not gonna be that big a dick. Speaking of dicks, here's a grassy surge emolga. That nuzzled me, the piece of shit. Did I heal from Dragon Breath? Uh, I do not want to learn Roar. I feel like Team 3 would cook. What do you mean? Aha! A mere child in the face of what an adult looks like. That move would have hit one more time. Oh, the number three team from the raid. Sorry, uh, Squire. I use this rock smash. Aerial Ace, but 50% stronger due to my ability, or maybe not. Guess it's 50% stronger, but not stab, so it's like... Back at work, what I miss? I mean, our team is pretty fucking good. If you miss that, we have an Urshifu now who just, I mean, he'll, he'll just kill you. Unless he gets annoying to death. He, you can annoy him to death. That is a real thing. Critical hit. Critical hit. This is a non-super effective move on a Pokemon the same level as us. If anyone at home is comparing. the ability ability called again of this guy slash sharpness sharpness I thought it was slashing something I was wrong oh I should give him the focus band muscle band slightly boost physical moves yes Urshifu Saffron has an ability switcher guy gotcha gotcha does Urshifu have a hidden ability in regular Mon? I'll pop a vial after this. Trying to learn Mist. The allies' party is protected by a mist that prevents stat reductions. Uh, we're holding on what we got for now. Okay, Vile. Whoops. Don't have to go back to the center. Teehee. Whoa. Hold the phone. You had to talk to him again to buy the shiny? Okay, well, mine wasn't Wooper. It was Tyrant. Unless the rules change for that. But when I bought the regular one, I bought a Tyrant. Oh, they thought they could hide one from me. Oh, fuck. This is a double battle. Grassy Surge? Fuck your Grassy Surge. Misty Surge. You ever think of that? Also, these are two grass types. Oh, is this guy a boss fight? His team is kind of coherent. Alright, let's swap Pichu out. Oh, Brand Man going. Or Shifu only has one ability. Okay, yeah, then it won't work for me there. But maybe the other guys. Hidden power, ouch. I 
don't know if he has more than two Mon. Are you fucking a bug type attack, bro? Okay, well, there went my get out of jail free card. I have to beat this using regular Mon now. Well, it's not the devs, it's randomized, but yeah, Wendy's. Yeah, those are the woes. Ooh, I see when hits both. That's big. All right, getting the slows here is good. Oh my god, the damage. The damage is disgusting. He still out speeds though, because he's fucking Bolt Orb. We live. Right, Wendy's. Yeah, I bet this counts as a boss fight, because this, this guy's team seems pretty coherent. And not related to any of the mod I'm running into around here. We got his ass to flinch! Oh shit, Grassy Surge is back. Think out's fine. Ooh, layer of toxic debris. Don't mind if I do. Will o' Wisp is you will o' Wisp the wrong one. Probably got prankster. Oh, got a crit on them both. That's big. Oh, we're healing up from grassy terrain. Hooray, everybody! Wacky didn't die, wow. Oh, we didn't crit this time, that's why. Second layer of Toxic Spikes just went down in case he's got anyone else. They now get Stealth Rock Toxic Spike. Um, Urshifu is not good here, so we're actually kind of, uh... We're a little scared at the moment. Don't will o -wisp me, you piece of shit! He's only good for using Takedown! It didn't kill. It didn't fucking kill. He's got two Pokemon left, too. Fuck, that's bad. And Bibarel is immune to toxic debris somehow. Why the fuck is Bibarel? Why are they all... I didn't even want this ability to do damage, being honest. Okay, he's cursing. That's bad. Left Lip is going to get the fuck out of here and leave this one of the experts. Alright, so... T-Wave... And fuck it, we'll Rock Smash. I can't believe we lived that. Good shit. Oh, it, I can't T-Wave it because it surrounds itself in a protective mist, I'm being informed. Nice quick attack, you big douchebag. Fucking annoying my ass. Anyway. I... I don't, I don't really have a lot of familiarity with terrains, so I was hoping that if I was the one that did it, that it wouldn't be awful for me. Turns out that's wrong, and Pichu actually counters itself. But, it'll be a Pikachu soon. I'll try not to use a battle too much until it becomes a Pikachu. And any other ability might be solid. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter what I take here, because it's going to be random. And Helix Fossil sounds cooler, so we're taking the Helix Fossil. Hey you, wait right there! Are you the twerp messing with my grunts? Little kid, you think you're brave, and I'll teach you a valuable lesson! Oh fuck, this is a boss fight. 
Rocket Admin Archer, who is the proud owner of a Gimlet. That shit hurted. Oh, he doesn't have his ability. Should have two rufflets. It'd be about on about par for the course there. Houndour. Man, do I have the guy for you. Ouch. Not my special attack stat. The whack! I worry Pichu is getting a little a little bit too high a level, but if I'm coming up on the move relearner, either you guys say Cerulean or Celadon. Don't worry, your suffering will be over soon. Bro, who is suffering? This thing does have levels on me, though. Ooh, lower the defense. Leftovers? No, berry juice. Oh, he can't hurt me. Hey, what up, Brian? How you doing? Grandman trying to learn charm? I don't think so. Whatever, we've done everything we needed. I won't be as nice to you next time. I'll be seeing you, fuck ass. Fuck ass found one antidote. I love your name, thanks, it's fuck ass. Suck on my balls. Suck on my balls. Uh, is this Mega Punch or Mega Kick guy? Power up punch! Way to burger flip in second! That's huge! And I got my PP up four times from this guy. Um, chat. Water Dragon, who's that Pokemon? Oh, it's Little Sushi Guy? Tatsuguri? Fuck it, let's run it. Uh, Rick... Or is she Aurora? It's random. Oh, so I should have been doing every raid. Good to know. Hey, what button do I hit to, uh, to Gigamax? I guess, I guess it's Dragon Rage. I won't actually change anything. Don't max strike me, you jackass. And Turkachi, gotcha. All right, that's my fault. I should have been doing every single raid cave, and I wasn't at all. So, you know, today we learn. Because it's randomized, and we don't know what's on the other side of that thing till we get there. What kind of Mon we looking at out here, huh? Oh, there's Mon in the water, too. What the fuck is a Relor? I need a good rod for it. Cosmog?! Fucking Cosmog is in there?! There's a fucking Cosmog in there! <laughs> Yo, I gotta come back here when we got the Super Rod, bro! That's a fucking Cosmog! 
And Burmy. Um, okay. Wooper. Ralts. Ponyard. Tinka Tank? Fuck it, I'll catch all of them. Just the god of the sun or moon casually hanging out. No biggie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I did not mean to register it. I don't know what registering it does. Take nine time out. Yeah, I mean, the same as every time. Why did I find an audit? He's not a Yan mask, is he? Is he? Why am I finding not the thing I'm looking for? I thought maybe it had like Zorark's ability or something. But I'm finding a bunch of things that, like, aren't, aren't my guy. Does anybody have any, any reason for why this could be occurring? You winning? Yeah, but I'm trying to find out why Ponyard is never Ponyard. Didn't mean to register. If this isn't him, I'll try to get Ponyard somewhere else. This is just weird, right? Oh, there he is. That was weird, wasn't it? Wasn't that very strange? What the hell happened? I'll catch a Gibble and a Ralts. We're not going to use these guys, most likely. Like, maybe if they have an insane ability. I'm more so catching them now. So later on, if I want to, I can evolve them. And uh, see what their abilities are when they're evoed. You got a Jolt to get? Yo, no, but I know whose name's on it. Electric Surge Ralts. Oh, yeah, nighttime. Well, if he has an ability, his ability was making him a completely different fucking Pokemon. Alright, Cosmog's still in the water. That's so fucking funny. Spritzy, uh, nothing important here, really. I think I can fish here. Sprigs! They got Sprigs up in there. Phoebus. If I can surf to it. I guess this, I really shouldn't look at these till I have better rods. We're gonna beat up Misty right now in the game, of course. Um, I usually like to do... Uh, I'll take on the first trainer for Misty, but then normally what I like to do is the Nugget Bridge. Which I know I gotta do a rival battle for that, so that's gonna be intense. But I like to come up here and get a feel for where I am level-wise. Oh yeah, that's an Ice type. Oh, you know what I would like to do before... Shit. I can get rid of Scary Face. Nah, dude, fuck it. When is Headbutt ever going to be useful? You know what I want to do before I go up there? We got to level up Clef Flip. Move relearners in one of the houses. I'm not too worried about that yet. We got to level up Clef Flip, and ideally, I might friendship cheese 
to guarantee we get Pikachu soon, because then I can just go Pikachu Raichu immediately. I don't realize how, how uh, streamlined they made this game, by the way. This is fun. Boy gets the Evo, yeah. Oh wait, this thing's gonna have that fucking murder me after it dies ability. Cleft lip! Should learn confusion here too. Friendship guy in a house in, in Cerulean? Here, I gotta turn my heater up, I'm freezing. Friendship guy in a house in Cerulean? Matang! Metal. And Metal Claw, let's go. Yeah, he just got way better. PMA for you. Ooh, learn an Aurora Beam. Icy Wind is 55, but it slows, but I have T-Wave. Aurora Beam is 65, that maybe lowers our attack. That's better. Cyndaquil! All right. I don't know what the old level cap is, but I guess we're ready for Rival Battle 2. Do you guys give out Bulbasaurs in here? Hello there, do you happen to have a Snom? Would you trade one for my Carnivine? Um, I should have caught a Snom, but... You're a trainer, aren't you? I have an egg sent to me by a friend. Even he doesn't know where it's from. Would you like it for $5,000? This is a Larvitar! In the regular one, right? In the base game? Oh yeah, Clef got a new ability. His old one was nothing. It was literally nothing. Sand Rush. Okay, well he doesn't want to be in sand, but if he is ever in sand, he might outspeed something. Level cap's 27, thank you. We still we have another shot when he becomes a Matang. Okay, I'm gonna grab this egg from this lady, and then we're gonna run around, because that will also level up uh, Pichu. Steel gets a defense boost in Sandstorm? Wait, no way. That doesn't make sense. Steel, ground, and rock. No, he's immune to sand, but the reason I say he doesn't want to be in sand is because it's probably because he's about to get fucking earthquaked or something. That's why I said that. I didn't mean like sand is super effective on him in particular, but... Did he say suppose? Wait, what? Five thousand dollars, traveler. I have two types of eggs: a Paldian egg, which hatches into a Paldian Pokemon, or you can have a Wonder egg, which contains a random first form Pokemon. Supposedly, even a Cosmog could be attained from these. I don't give a fuck about Paldian Pokemon. Give me the Wonder egg. I'm sure this isn't a Cosmog because it's going to be randomized. Okay, so I thought I was going to run back and forth a lot. But actually... Neat. Um, cool how we never bought that. Let's see what's in the Paldian one. Uh, anything could be in the Paldian egg, lady. Let's try that. We should gamble on these and if they're hot... What are the odds? What are there a thousand Pokemon in this fucking game? 
Did I click Wonder by accident? I don't think so. I'll run the experiment one more time just so you guys can see. Nope. I can groom one of your Pokemon? Okay, well, I've seen Poketubers. Yeah, I wasn't safe stating to change it. I wanted it to stay the same. I just... Punch Glove, nice. Um, I didn't even know you could change it, nor did I want to. I just wanted to see what we got. But I picked two different eggs. Can you value your Pokemon's happiness? 177. Okay, we gotta run around like an idiot until its happiness goes up. This is quite fast with the fast forward button, though. Alright, old timer, but what does the happiness look like now? Oh, fuck. Alright, this is the process. Is that it tells me happiness on the stats page? Evolves with high happiness. Total 205, 0, 186, happiness 184. Oh, wait, no, that's B. All right. Um, I think I need what? I need like 220 plus or something? The rare candy guys get friendship. Would I have to go all the way back to uh, the NES? Because this shouldn't be that long of a process. While we run for 30 minutes out of curiosity, when is the next TDA stream? Uh, TDA might be gone now that TNL's back. I wanted to give the Patreon a purpose, and also I needed something that was easy to do where I didn't have to raise my voice, but it was still entertaining in Italy. And we're past that right now, so I don't have to do it anymore. Um, not to say we won't ever do TDA again, but right now... I've kind of got shit uh, going on. i kind of got shit I can stream again, you know? Which is really nice. Rival battle gives you fly, I got you. The whole point is I'm trying to get a Pikachu before the rival battle. Alright, we're almost there. Well, they made it easy because they made it hard, Zarok. Because they made these fights hard. Oop, did not mean to do that. Yeah, straight. I mean, we're going to basically skip Pikachu. We're going to go straight from Pikachu into Raichu. Let me go check out the move relearner, actually. Been saying Radical Red is easy. I think Radical Red Randomize is way easier. You defeat me in a puzzle battle, I'll provide my services for you for free. Rules. Rules are simple. You select pre uh, three Pokemon from the six I provided to show you that these are, there's guaranteed path to victory. I, order I send out, my Pokemon will stay consistent. This guy has Aaron, Pikachu in a costume, Scruppy, Ghastly. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll just have you guys tell me how to beat this one. Actually, all his shit's level five. Is this one really a puzzle? All right, chat, tell me what I'm doing. I said I said I was going to be the one to uh, figure it out going forward, but then I saw these teams, and I cannot be asked. Tell me what I'm doing here. What is this? I'm going to have to, like, Fletchling and, and pluck a berry off something before it can use it.
I remember this one. Good, because I need the info. Oh, Devin already typed it? Oh, shit. Buniri, Panfi, Fletchling. Buniri out first. Fake. Oh, fuck. Okay. Fake out Drain Punch, because this little bitch is going to have, uh, Sturdy. Shit, he got six Pokemon. See, what the fuck is this thing? Switch to Panfi. Um... It's electric ice, so yeah, earthquake. Freezy frost. Oh, we had a focus sash. Uh, this motherfucker has levitate. I sure kill? Or maybe he's got a focus set. Oh yeah, I forgot Buderi was still alive. I was like, we're down two Pokemon really quickly. Fletchling? Oh, I'm an idiot. I brought the wrong one. U-turn? No. I think I lost. I've actually lost this battle. Oh, I was supposed to Brave Bird there? Oh, fuck. Alright. Okay, Veneri. And the Fletchling, not Talo. Alright, get back to where we were. Fletchling. Brave Bird. Skaroopy? Could Brave Bird again. Flame Charge? Yeah, Brave Bird again. Okay. Timber. That's looking like Brave Bird again. Switch to Benary here? I don't Brave Bird the Timber? It's gonna Ice Punch you? That's why you switch to Benary. Oh, okay. Uh, Fake Out probably. Fake out into Healing Wish. Nice. Nice. Woo! Barely lived it. What kind of wish was that? A healing one. If you'd rather get me to teach them to your Pokemon, I can do that too. Which Pokemon needs tutoring? Perfect. Alright, old man, what's the happiness app? Two sixteen. Anybody know what the happiness threshold is? I want to say it's two twenty or two twenty-five. 
Did we check Matang's ability? Yeah, it's a uh, sand rush. So he's got times two speed in the sand, which he doesn't want to be in the sand because that means he's probably about to get earthquake. But now he cannot speed, so could be worse. We gonna pick up another teammate? Yeah, we still have Aurorus or whatever, who I'm using. Pretty happy with actually. 220, gotcha, gotcha. What up, Hifty? Alright, 225, looking good. Let's go pick Aurorus back up. We'll evolve Pikachu, or we'll evolve Pichu into Pikachu and then Raichu. Just for fun, let's see what everybody's abilities are. Reckless boost moves when uh, with recoil by 20%. Okay. Electric surge. Corrosion. Damp. Damp on Ponyard. Okay. Synchronized Fungus. Sniper? That's nasty. Stop self-lowering stats and prevents recoil. Wait, Bad Company's a crazy good ability. What the fuck? Where did you read that first one at, Cliff Flip? Just let DM break through this action. Also, Dragon Rage is starting to fall off. So things are gonna get a little hairy soon. This is bad for my health. Here we go. Oh, we're moving along now. Miss Pikachu! I'm gonna learn Faint. It's a normal type move. Hits protected and lifts the protection. Nah, no thank you. And moving right along. School's website's down. Can't run any of my assignments. Guess I'll play Helldivers. Whoops. Guess you'll just play Helldivers. Please don't be a Lolon. Oh my god, I thought it was a Lolon. He was surfing. He was surfing on the tail. I thought it was a Lolon. I was going to be so pissed. Could move, relearn from the Pokemon screen. You don't even have to go to the guy. Oh yeah, nickname and relearn. Fuck. We can learn Fake Out. We can learn Fake Out and T-Bolt. Oh fuck. Fake Out might be better than Doll Eyes. I'm gonna be honest. Not for our nature. That's big. That's real big. That's huge. Team just got way fucking stronger. Because Pichu was almost a useless one. And now we have not a useless one. He only evolves once, right? Or does he have a middle form? No, he's got a middle form. He won't finish his Evo till like 60-something. Holy shit, we don't evolve until 44. Jesus fucking Christ. Matang at 45. Okay, so 44, 45 is our next real power spike. Level 40, we get Tyrantrum. Yeah, so 40 to 40 to 45 will be when the team really takes off. This is kind of just the team for a while. If that Slowbro wasn't there, you could cut down the small tree to get to the other side. I think there's a way around it, though. 
Oh yeah, Raichu's ability, because Misty Surge was ass. I didn't even check Pikachu's ability, I might regret that. Fluffy, halves contact hicks, takes two times to fire moves. Oh, wait a minute. The fire move sucks ass, but having contact hits, Raichu can take a punch. Night Squires, Pringles. Not being able to even look in the direction of a fire type attack sucks ass, but... Raichu just became tank chew. Having contact hits? He's defensive now. Shit, tell me if this sounds stupid. I might swap his nature. Probably aren't throwing her into a fire attack anyway. You're right. I might I might swap her nature to be uh what if we do like plus defense minus special defense? Odd oh, god, how the fuck you doing? Thank you, 31 more fucking months. So do fire moves that make contact do regular damage, or does this game still have the Gen 3 physical slash special attack mechanics? I it does not have the Gen 3 physical special. So I wonder if you're right. That's a good question. Does like flame charge or flare blitz hit normal? Not that we're ever living a flare blitz, but I'm guessing it just goes back to normal damage. Raichu learns extreme speed at 36, huge. I'm kind of tempted to do a plus defense, uh, negative special defense nature. Fire moves probably ignore the contact half thing. That would also make sense. Yeah, because if you look at like why Fluffy exists in the first place. I don't hate it. Maybe there will come a time where I hate it, but I don't hate it. Yo, fuck ass. You're still struggling along back here. Well, I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, fuck ass. Okay. I think there was another trainer in Misty's gym. I could have gone back to battle. This is bad. Because you're fairy type, yeah. All right, cleft lip. Don't let that draining kiss fuck you up too badly. I keep forgetting. It's been so long since I played Pokemon like this. I keep forgetting I shouldn't fast forward during these. Didn't want to handle a little cleft lip, huh? Why did he resist that? Does water resist steel? Water resists steel. Okay. When did they change Water Pulse to 100% Confusion Rate? I think I've been Water Pulse three times and Confused three times. Aurora? Would Aurora take the Water Pulse that well? Fuck it, it, Chris. Oh, that's no damage. Oh, she's got Storm Drain. I can't really hurt Urshifu, but yeah, you're right. I forgot she had Storm Drain. Apparently, he knows she has Storm Drain. Alright, T-Wave is a good start. It's gonna Fighting-type one-tap me, though, so... Water-resisting Steel, though, is... Like, Water-type wasn't strong enough. And, like, Steel needed to be weaker offensively. I don't know. I feel like that one should kind of be removed. Because what is... I don't know. Maybe it's because water rust steel over time, I'm not sure, but... I can't believe he stayed in. Oh, it still killed him! That's nasty! Is 
Um, these do about the same, but Rock Smash has a chance to lower his defense. And, alright, we kill him next turn. Aerial Ace, Sharpness. I mean, isn't Stab and Sharpness the same thing? Isn't Stab on Rock Smash and Sharpness on Aerial Ace the same thing? Also, how you doing, Drac? I saw you come in, but I think I was in the middle of something. Okay. This ought to be fun. Ooh, nice contact move! Clap. And with the Thunderbolt, I don't know why I was afraid I wouldn't outspeed, but we've leveled a bit. This is the second stream where I took a nap and woke up to you playing Pokemon. I wasn't going to play Pokemon tonight, but chat had other plans, and I was happy to oblige. What time is it? It's midnight. It's midnight. I got started too late today. Intimidate? Oh no! What physical move will you kill me with, you stupid fucking bird? Raichu's ability might be a game changer, because you take a Pokemon who is normally, like, Raichu's weakest status defense, and it's, it's barely close. Like, defense and special defense, but mainly defense, right? You take a Mon that is pretty useless, but all of a sudden you take one of its stats and it goes from being one of its least useful to a decent one. Went to Bill's, got him to show me his rare Pokemon. All night stream. It's a Sunday night. I don't know about that, but I think maybe we'll come back on Tuesday. And uh, we'll go live early on Tuesday because I still want to take tomorrow off. We'll go live early on Tuesday and we'll play it out. Put the Poke Rider in the key item's pocket. Oh wait, I didn't read what that was. What does the Poke Rider do? How is it the Raichu of all Mons named Thundershad of all names got the broken ass build? Well, I name all my Raichus Thundershad, unless uh, that's just something I did since like one of the very first playthroughs I ever did. So it just sort of stuck, but. Oh, Poke Rider, I can fly, nice. I don't know why I ran back this way. Later, late, and have a good night. We got ourselves a little team here. I don't think this is the end game team, but it would be cool if we stuck it out with all these guys. Um, does anybody want to throw their name in the hat and compete for the uh, the Auroras? Because we've actually kept this thing for a while. We might end up keeping it. I don't want to open up... Uh, I don't want to open up Bid Wars, so first person to either gift a sub or even drop 100 bits. I will nickname the, the Aurora after. We have a very big weakness to fighting types. Yeah, Clef Lip is neutral. Urshifu is... I don't even think he resists neutral. Thundershat is really our, our anti-fighting type. Thundershot and Cliff Lip. I only have 95 bits. You know what? Allegedly, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take If you want the Aurora... Oh, psych. I'm gonna beat you. This motherfucker is giving me bits while he's live. What's Raichu's ability? Uh, Fluffy. So fire does two times damage, but contact moves do half damage. So Raichu's worst stat, which is defense, is now suddenly a good stat. To the point to where I'm almost considering changing Raichu's nature to have a plus defense nature. Because it would be like, it'd almost be like getting a double nature in that sense, you know? It'd almost be like, it'd almost be like if I had a double nature.
Gym in the morning. It's going to be a sleepy one off to bed. Night calibrated. Keep it out of the sun so it won't randomly catch fire. All right, you guys. On that note, sorry for the shorter stream. Got started late today. I was dealing with some stuff. Um, I will probably take tomorrow off of stream because I'm going to work on setting up those YouTube channels we talked about earlier, one for wrestling and one for gaming stuff, and then we will come back on Tuesday. Uh, I will not be live for... Oh, wait. I will not be live for uh, the Pokemon Presents because it's super early, but I will go live earlier in the day... The plan is for me to go live earlier in the day than uh, the normal for me. Like I, I'll go live earlier than I normally do. Probably like four or five p.m. Maybe even sooner, uh, Central Time. Uh, maybe even three or four p.m. Central Time if I can. And then we will immediately go over the Pokemon stuff. And then I will probably ride that into playing Radical Red. We might talk about a uh, SmackDown at Raw first a little bit too. But go say hey to Amine. Amine made the Radical Red layout that we're using right now. Huge ups for that. He also claimed uh, the name of the last Pokemon. That we had of the night here. But he's streaming. He's streaming and he's very, very, very close to a follower goal. So go say hey. Amine's the homie. Uh, been modding here a long time. Taking care of me a long time for a lot of shit. And yeah. Catch y'all later at night, everybody. Thundershot out. Peace late. See ya. Bye. See y'all on Tuesday.